Hello everyone and welcome back to UCAT Festival TV. You'll all be watching this on the morning of the final day of the, the conference. It's been fantastic thus far and I'm really excited to have the opportunity to speak to my next guest, Professor Michael Draper and Alison Braddock from Swansea. How are you both doing? Brilliant, thank you very much, Colm. Uh, it's great to be on TV. Yeah, very well. Fascinating <laughs> festival. A absolutely, yeah. It, ha it has been a, a wonderful uh, three days and uh, people will be watching this just prior to, I suppose, the the, the last session or, or thereabouts. Um, how have you both enjoyed the uh, festival thus far? Oh, it's been amazing. I mean, the, the sessions have been really diverse really practical, really useful. Uh, I've just come off a panel session with colleagues from across the UK from different institutions, which was chaired by, I say, very chaired very well by Emily McIntosh from Middlesex University, um, basically talking about the relationship between personal tutoring and uh, student services. I think we had over 150 delegates attend that uh, particular session, and the questions just kept on coming and coming. Uh, we could have gone on far longer, and it was a fascinating discussion. You learn off each other when you're talking to each other anyway, and you spark off each other, which is great. But the, the level of the, the, the questioning was, uh, uh, you know, very insightful, and, and people really wanted to know how they could improve personal tutoring um, within their institution. You can tell that from the questions. They really do care about students, the people who attend this conference. Absolutely. Um, I, I, that was a great session. I'm not surprised given like the caliber of people involved in the two organizations. Um, and I'm, I'm delighted that I suppose delegates will also have the opportunity to watch back because everything is being recorded, which is one of the benefits to the, the virtual environment. And what about you, Alison? Any particular highlights? Absolutely. Um, I attended a session by Catherine Mann from the University of Melbourne about um, advising by design and she explained how uh, the design methodology worked and most of us in universities strive to include the student voice. Uh, we talk a great deal about partnership and co-creation but for me this is a, a methodology that you can use so that right from the beginning before you come up with initiatives, policies and strategies you are co-creating them with the students and you, you can bring in the diversity of students to ensure that you are, you know, making the opportunities uh, fully inclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Even Alice and I had a catch up at 12 noon today after the session and we've all decided to press the go button on that for our institution. <laughs> Alice was so enthusiastic about it and I caught the enthusiasm and I said, this, this is going to work. It sounds really good to me. I, I think it's transformational. I really do. Yeah. Well, that's exactly, I suppose, what you're hoping to get from um, a conference or, or a festival. And I suppose yeah. the timing has almost worked nicely in, in some respects because everyone is gearing up for the next academic year. And suddenly you've kind of had this influx of new kind of great ideas and ideas around best practice. You've met new colleagues. So it's actually worked really well. I feel there's definitely things that I've taken that I can already see myself implementing. And sometimes I feel if I if I go to a conference over the summer, I maybe lose a little a little bit or I or I come back and somebody's on annual leave. But I feel this year I, I might be able to really implement some of the things that I, I really would like to. So it's good to hear that that seems to have been the, the case all around. Absolutely. Now, yeah, absolutely. I, th I think personal tutoring is probably one of the most important relationships between an institution and their students. I think given the situation around COVID, given that there's going to be more blended learning, that relationship is going to be even more important uh, going forward. So I think the more that we can engage with the uh, agenda that UCAT has set and, of course, institutions are also setting around personal tutoring and academic mentoring, uh, the better it will be for student experience. Absolutely. And now both of you are in, going to be involved in the UCAT 2021 conference, which we're all, we are hoping, uh, you know, we there have been wonderful aspects to the, the virtual world, but we are hoping it will be in person and that we will all be able to, to gather together. 
maybe you could tell me uh, a little bit about what we can look forward to in Swansea next year. Right. Uh, well, there'll certainly be a warm welcome in the hillsides. I mean, that's Wales for you. Uh, with the land of song and hospitality, I, I suppose other countries may make claim to that as well. <laughs> uh, but a very warm welcome in Wales. Um, Swansea is a dynamic institution. We've, we've grown, I think, over the last decade uh, quite rapidly, progressively, but in a controlled manner so that we can make sure the student experience is absolutely right. Uh, we currently have around 22,000 students uh, in total. Um, and uh, obviously we hope to retain those students going forward, which we will make sure that we do uh, with the student experience that we offer. It is our centenary year as well, uh, which will be playing over into uh, 2021. So there'll be celebrations around that. And uh, I think when you come to Wales, when you come to Swansea, you'll see the perfect physical location of our institution. Uh, not many institutions can claim to be on the beach. Well, one campus is on almost the almost on the beach. <laughs> yeah, but the Singleton campus, where the conference will take place, is separated from the beach and uh, the Mumbles Village, which most people will know, simply by a dual carriageway over which there is a walkover. But behind us is the brilliant and beautiful Singleton Park ornamental dark gardens, which are lovely. And of course, Mumbles, I think, is very well known as a village but we are the gateway to the wonderful Gower Peninsula, the first area of outstanding natural beauty made in the UK. And rightly so, we have some world-class beaches, and I mean world-class beaches, stunning landscapes and stunning history as well, uh, both prehistoric on the Gower Peninsula and also within Swansea itself, um, where not many people may know this, but we were known for our copper industry in the past, uh, the reason why um, Nelson's fleet at uh, Trafalgar did so well against certain uh, countries, not naming, <laughs> was because they were copper bottom. And so the manoeuvrability of the boats through the water was made possible by the copper produced in Swansea. Not many people may know that, but I will pass over to Alison because I can do <laughs> lyrical about Swansea if I needed to. Alison, would you like to add anything further? I just say I hope it will be a physical conference because uh, we're planning lots of exciting uh, aspects which introduce uh, delegates to Welsh culture, so Croeso um, i and Welsh food and unmissable um, Welsh singing. I am, I am. <laughs> that was the extent of my Welsh, by the way, which Alice. Oh, uh, Bendig Eddig. Yes, yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> But, but the theme of the conference, just to come back to the conference that we're going to be hosting for UCAT in 2021, is all about directed, independent, regulated learning uh, by students. Um, as most people will probably realise, the key part of the step up from schools to FE colleges into institutions, higher education institutions, is around that step into independent learning by students. And really, how do we best support students so that they progress through their levels of study, through uh, level four, level five, level six undergraduate students, so that they achieve uh, an outcome, not just an academic outcome, but also an outcome in terms of their personal development, which is what they want. And I think it's important to have that conversation as part of the personal tutoring relationship, academic mentoring relationship, to establish what it is a student wants. And not everybody wants a first, not everybody wants a two one. I mean, most people will be satisfied with a two two, depending on where they come from. It's about having that conversation and coming to uh, some uh, agreed outcomes for the student, which a student is aspiring to, and perhaps stretching those outcomes a bit as well. Well, you, you've sold me on it, certainly. I, I can tell you that. I've uh, Growing up in Cork, uh, we used to get S4C rather than Channel 4, so I already know how beautiful <laughs> Wales is on screen, and I really look forward to seeing it in person and i think that the theme of the conference sounds fantastic so i hope um you know to meet you both uh in in swansea next year i want to thank both of you for taking the time to chat to me today and i think it's going to be a fantastic event in 2021 thank you very much color we really do look forward to it